Hey everyone, Greg here. Today I've got a recipe for all these people that keep asking me for one, to make a tuna recipe, and two, to make some lunchbox recipes. I'm going to kill two birds with one stone, and I'm going to make for you today these delicious little tuna sushi sandwiches. Perfect for the lunchbox, perfect for the uh, eating in the library. I don't know what you're going to do with them, it's up to you. I'm just going to show you how to make them. They're super easy, hardly any ingredients. Let's start cooking. This is Greg's kitchen. Alright, so these are the ingredients I'm using for this sushi rolls. I need a Lebanese cucumber mm -hmm. and a carrot. Oh, isn't that beautiful? Why can't we all just get along like that? You need some sliced bread. I'm using white bread. Now you can use those other breads if you want, but I like the white bread because it's full of carbs and sugar and everything bad for you, which is the way I roll. Now when using your bread, this is very important, so please take note. When using bread, make sure your bread is fresh and not stale, because if it's stale, this is not going to work. Trust me, I've made this video so many times, I should know. So make sure your bread is fresh. I've got some cream cheese here, this is the spreadable type. And I've got some tuna fish as well, just some tin tuna. I always buy mine in oil for some reason. I probably shouldn't, but I do. Which is the way I roll. I find the oil in my tuna fish just tends to uh, lubricate uh, my stomach lining and then enters my bloodstream and lubricates all my blood vessels as well. Let me show you how easy it is to throw these things together. Alright, so to get started on this recipe, what we need to do is get your bread and we need to cut the crusts off our bread. Now, we're doing this because, well, you see, I like straight hair and I don't want my hair curly, so by cutting the crusts off, that'll stop my hair curling. It'll also make these sushi sandwiches look a whole lot better, because presentation counts. Move out of the way, appendages, because I need to now lie this out and grab yourself a rolling pin. Oh yeah, I know all about these things, growing up. Hoo wee Boy, I used to cop the rolling pin. Oh, mate! Roll it out, not too bad, not too hard, not too, or well, even though I just did. That's like a wafer now, but that's all right, because that's exactly how I wanted it. And now it's time to grab our bits and pieces. I'll start with this carrot. I'll start like grating that off. Now, if you wanted to continue just grating it and using, uh, or peeling, I should say, the carrot, and you can just keep peeling it, or you can grab your knife and just start match sticking it. So down, cross the other way. Depends how old you are and depends how healthy your teeth are because I know if I was biting into a hard carrot, uh, my fillings and my uh, crowns would be saying, Hey, please don't. Yep, that's what happens when you get old. You can no longer eat things you used to. It's kind of sad really, isn't it? So I'll just cut those into little sections. And we do the same with the old zucchini. Sweet as brew. So let's bring our bread back into the picture. And we'll grab our cream cheese and spread it over the bread. So now why don't we grab some carrot, lie it across. We'll put it towards one side. Put some zucchini down, do the same. Grab our tunas, the cheap nasty stuff. Cheap nasty tuna from the supermarket is the best. Don't go waste your money on expensive tunas because they taste no better than cheap tunas. I'm a man who's tried all the tunas you can possibly try. The cheap nasty tuna is the one I always buy because it tastes the best and it's like a third the price. Now all we need to do is roll this up. One, stay there, you might need to push it down, and you don't, you might not want to pack these too tight either. Two, and three. So there's half the sushi roll done, but if you want it to look aesthetically pleasing, cut these into thirds. 
And when you turn them on their sides, just have a look at how fantastic these look. W O W. Wow. They look amazing. I can't wait to taste it, so how about we tuck on in for the old tuna sushi sandwiches taste test. How cute are they and how good would they look in a lunchbox? Wow! Anyway, let's dive on in. Oh yeah. Oh wow. Mmm. Mate, these taste so good. Mmm. That the kids probably won't even get any because you'll have devoured them before they even got into the lunchbox. They would make great little snacks at a party or those volavent sort of things. Uh, you could use them any way you want. Have them for lunch. Oh mate, they're absolutely awesome and I know you guys are going to love them. If you do make them, I'd love to know what you thought about yours. Remember to show this video some thumb and love. Click hello, thanks for watching and I'll see you next time right here on Greg's Kitchen. <laughs>